The movie begins where we see underground fighting is taking place. A woman named Frankie is searching for a fighter named Carter there. One person tells her that the guy with the tattoo is Carter and he is the one who is fighting. Carter wins the fight and the announcer challenges anyone to face him. We see someone has entered the ring and accepted the challenge. He removes his clothes and Carter gets scared on seeing him and his ripped body. Carter recognizes this person and decides to withdraw from the fight and runs away from there. This person wins the fight and money without doing anything. Later he is going to his car. He gets attacked by a knife by a person who says that he lost his money because the fight didn't take place. Frankie comes to meet this person and helps with with his wound. Frankie tells that she knows he is Dalton who was a UFC fighter before and was very good at it. He was an aggressive fighter and because of his reputation Carter didn't fight him and ran away. Frankie asks Dalton to come and work at her roadhouse bar as a bouncer. Recently she has been is being troubled by a group of people who are harassing her. She is unable to do her business peaceful and she says that she will pay him $5,000 per week for the job. Dalton says that he's not interested in this, but Frankie still gives him her number in case he changes his mind. Later Dalton manages to escape narrowly from a train and decides to go work for Frankie. He goes to Florida by a bus and arrives at a location. There he meets Charlie who owns a bookstore and she gives Dalton a book so that he can know more about the place and explore it better. Dalton tells he has come to work at the Roadhouse Bar and asks its location. Charlie's father Stephen comes and introduces himself and tells him the location of the bar which is near the highway. Dalton walks to the bar and sees it is a beautiful and located near the beach. Dalton reaches the bar and orders some coffee. One of the staff Billy recognizes him as UFC fighter and tells him that he is his fan. Dalton says he is happy to be here and likes the peaceful environment. Later at night a bike gang comes to the bar and starts misbehaving with everyone. They start destroying the place and harass the customers. When Billy who also works as a bouncer tries to stop them, they don't listen to him and make fun of him. Dalton sees all this goes to these people and asks them to come outside to settle this. They refuse to go outside and make fun of Dalton, who says that he's going outside to check their bikes. The bikers feel that Dalton will destroy their bikes, so they go outside to meet him. Dalton says that he's giving them one chance to leave this place before they get hurt. He asks them whether they have insurance and one of the guys say that there is a hospital nearby which is 20 minutes away but they won't need it. Dalton starts slapping them to teach them a lesson. He is too fast for them and easily defeats them. He realizes that all of them are hurt pretty badly so he decides to take them to the hospital. After getting them admitted, a doctor named Ellie thanks him for first hurting these people and then bringing them here and increasing their work. Dalton says that these people were harassing others and he did this only for money. Ellie is not happy on hearing this, but sees that Dalton is also bleeding and asks him come inside to get it treated and Dalton agrees. Later Frankie gives Dalton his advance salary and thanks him for taking care of the bikers. Dalton says that he really likes this place and it is on a beautiful spot. Frankie believes that she can grow this place at the business to a great level. She tells Dalton to check in at the local hotel for staying purpose, but Dalton says that he has found a boat for sale and will buy it stay on it. Frankie says that she owns the boat and tells him that is more than welcome to stay on it, but tells him to beware of the crocodile that stays nearby. Dalton has shifted on the boat and likes the atmosphere there. Later he has a dream where is fighting in the UFC for championship but suddenly wakes up. Laura who also works at Roadhouse has bought some breakfast for him and wakes him up. She hopes that Dalton will stay longer and work here and not quit like the bouncers before him. Dalton goes to Charlie's bookstore and asks her whether he can use her computer for some work. Suddenly Charlie sees that some people are causing trouble outside her shop and she threatens them to quit. 
Dalton also goes outside to see what is happening, and when these people see Dalton they get scared and run away from there. Charlie thanks him and tells him that after her mom passed away, she manages the bookstore in the morning while his dad works another job for making money. Next we see a person named Ben who is on a cruise and is meeting with the bike gang. They tell Ben about Dalton and how they were beaten badly by him. Ben is angry on them for not finishing this small job and asks him how will be do his business like this. One of Ben's men asks him whether they should call Ben's dad for advice, but Ben doesn't like this. Later at the bar, when some people misbehave with the singers, Dalton helps Billy and also teaches him some fighting style. He also hires some other people as bouncers and is happy to see them learning fast. Later Dalton meets Ellie at a restaurant who tells him that this place is run by few families and he should not look for trouble. He says that he loves working here and is only doing his job. We also see that both are flirting with each other. At night when Dalton is going back home, he gets attacked by a car who tries to run over him. He manages to escape in time and we see that one of the bike members is driving the car and trying to kill him. The drives tries to push Dalton off the bridge in the river and also throws this car so he can kill Dalton. Dalton manages to survive and goes back to his boat only to find that person waiting there with a gun. He asks him by is he trying to kill him, but before that person could answer, Dalton attacks him and takes his gun. They both start fighting and Dalton throws him in the water. When that person tries to come back on the boat, Dalton throws his gun in the water to attract the crocodile, who attacks and kills this person. Later at Charlie's place, while looking at the map of area near Roadhouse, Dalton realizes that it is quite accessible by road and water easily. When he goes outside, one of Ben's men tells Dalton to come and meet Ben and solve this issue. Dalton refuses him and breaks his finger and tells him to inform Ben to come and meet him at the bar at night. Dalton goes to meet Frankie and ask her that that why these people is after her place and troubling her. She says that she doesn't know their intention and she is just trying to run her business which her uncle has built. We see that Frankie is lying about something based on her body language. Ben comes to know that Dalton has refused to see him and is angry on his men. He tells them they are useless as they are unable to vacate the roadhouse, which will help him to build his dream hotel. He gets a call from his dad from the prison, but he does not answer it and throws the phone in water. Next, we are introduced to a man named Knox, who is roaming around naked looking for clothes. We see that Knox is a bit crazy as he takes the clothes of a person standing by and also burns the entire market. He gets a call from Ben's dad about the roadhouse work and asks him for his help to which Knox agrees. Ellie comes to meet Dalton in a speedboat and asks him to come with her. Later when they are sitting and talking, Dalton asks Ellie who Ben is. She tells Dalton that Ben's family is the one who built and developed this area and is one of the powerful families who stays here. She asks Dalton about his past, but he gets uncomfortable and says that they should go from here. Ellie says that she knows about Dalton's past from the internet and wanted to hear from him. She says that she likes him and they both kiss each other. When Ben comes to his home and sees that Conks is already there, Knox hits him and tells Ben that his father has sent here here to finish the work he could not finish. Knox asks Ben to tell where Dalton is so he can take finish him off. Ben tells him to wait and let him do the work his way. If he is unable to finish the job this time, then Knox can take over and Knox agrees to this. Later when Ellie drops Dalton at home, she sees that some cops have arrested him for questioning. The cop take Dalton to meet their sheriff. Sheriff asks Dalton to leave this town since he's causing too much trouble here. Dalton refuses to do this, so the cops pull him out of the car and hit him. When the sheriff is about to shoot Dalton, Ellie comes there and slaps him and takes him away. She tells Dalton that the sheriff is her father who used to work for Ben's father to run all illegal activities in town. She says that after Ben's father got imprisoned, 
Her father is now working for Ben. She says that Dalton should not get involved in this and leave the town immediately. We see that Ben's men have come to the bookstore to threaten Charlie and her father. At night, Ben comes to the bar to meet Dalton and asks him why is he interfering in his work. He tells Dalton that he knows he can't be bought with money and can't be scared also. He shows Dalton a video he found online and asks him about his past. In the video, we see the fight for UFC championship is taking place in which Dalton is participating against his friend. In the fight, Dalton got so angry that he kept on punching his friend to hurt him, even though Dalton has won. In the end, his friend died because Dalton could not control his anger. Ben realizes the Dalton that cannot be persuaded with talk and asks Knox to deal with him. Knox comes into the bar with his men and starts destroying the place and harassing the people. Billy and the other bouncers try to stop him, but Knox easily fights them and starts searching for Dalton. Dalton comes to Knox and they both start fighting aggressively and fiercely. Because of their fighting, everything in the bar starts getting destroyed. One of Knox's men catches Dalton and then Knox punches him repeatedly. He lifts Dalton and throws him out of the bar. Outside the bar, Ellie has called the police, so Dalton decides to go from there. Frankie comes in the bar to see that everything is destroyed. At the boat, Dalton packs his stuff and gets ready to leave from there, but meets Frankie waiting for him. Frankie tells Dalton that he cannot leave her like this, because then Ben will take her roadhouse and destroy it to build a luxurious hotel. Dalton says that he cannot help her more than this matter, just wants to leave from there. She asks Dalton whether he is afraid of this situation. He says yes and goes away from there. When Dalton comes to the bus stop, he sees that Charlie's bookstore has been burned down and they are in hospital. He gets angry on this and decides not to leave town. He finds the person who burned the bookstore and punches him hard to break his windpipe and throws him in water. He says that he was afraid this situation will push him so far and now it has he wants stop. He asks one of Ben's man where he can find Ben. He comes to know about a deal that is happening the next day where Ben is taking a loan of money for building the hotel. Dalton goes to the deal site and steals the money from the cops. He shoots the dead body with cop's gun and hits the policeman to make him unconscious. Later we see Dalton is preparing some dynamite on his boat when Ellie's father comes to meet him. He tells Dalton that Ben has kidnapped Ellie and wants his money in exchange. He says that the officer at the beach told him about Dalton stealing the money because of that Ben has kidnapped Ellie. Dalton agrees to bring the money to Ben to free Ellie. Dalton arrives on Ben's cruise on a boat and sees that Ellie's father and Ben are already there waiting for him. Ben asks Dalton to hand over his money and leave the roadhouse alone. Dalton says that he cannot see Ellie anywhere and also says that Ellie's father looks very comfortable for a person whose daughter is kidnapped. Ellie's father tells Dalton that there was no no kidnapping and they told him a lie to bring the money. Ben tells him that that he actually kidnapped Ellie because he couldn't trust anyone because of this Ellie's father gets angry. Ben sees that Knox is also coming in a speedboat towards them and does not like this so asks Dalton to hand the money. Dalton pushes a button and explode his speedboat to distract everyone. The ship starts sinking and Dalton goes to search for Ellie. He finds Ellie in a room and helps her break out of the ship. Ben brings this speedboat and captures Ellie. Dalton manages to get on Knox's boat and throws him off the boat. He starts chasing Ben's boat and who notices him and reverses his boat to collide with him. Dalton manages to jump in time and land on Ben's boat boat. Ellie notices that their boat is about to crash in the beach, so Ellie and Dalton jump in the water. The boat crashes into the beach and Ben is flung off. Knox is able to swim to shore and steals a car. Dalton and Ellie reach the boat crash site and see the boat is destroyed. Dalton is looking for Ben who suddenly fires a fishing spear at him. 
Dalton gets angry on him, so he hits him and breaks his nose. Suddenly a car comes crashing in, and Dalton is hurt. Knox is driving the car, and they both start fighting aggressively with each other. We see that both are hitting each other very badly, and no one will stop unless the other is killed. Dalton manages to hold Knox from behind, but he manages to escape and stabs Dalton with a wood. Ben comes and tells Knox to kill Dalton, who gets angry on him and kills Ben instead. Knox goes to kill Dalton with another wood piece, but Dalton uses both the wood pieces and stabs Knox multiple times and kills him. Ellie is sad to see Dalton like this and Dalton feels sorry for her. Ellie's father comes there and tells Dalton to leave this place and says he will take care of everything here so Dalton leaves from there. Frankie is happy that her roadhouse is free and helps her team to clean the place and start it again. Later we see Dalton is at the bus stop waiting for his bus to leave town. Charlie's comes to him and asks him to stay, but he says his goodbye and leaves from there. Charlie's father finds that Dalton has left them all the stolen money to repair their shop. Dalton looks peaceful in the bus and we see Knox is still alive and searching for Dalton.